Has been a while since my last trip to the Philippines, but here I am again. Bohol is one of the most talked about destinations in the wonderful Philippines. Together with my Swiss and Filipino friends, I traveled across Bohol, introducing you to the best places, whether they are touristy or hidden gems. Strap yourself in for this first Bohol Philippines episode. Bohol is one of the most talked about islands in the Philippines, but surprisingly does not have a large international airport. The best way to reach Bohol is to fly into Cebu City and then take a two hours ferry boat ride. So we are really last minute, but we can just make it for the ferry. The boarding is actually now and the ferry is departing now. <laughs> There are several ferry terminals on Bohol. We chose to go to the one near Panglao at Dakbilaran City. Now here at the Bohol shores in Panglao. Great view over the pool, the palm trees and the sea. It just feels so great being back in Asia. Now going to the beach and I'm going to launch my drone over there. We're now in Bohol and today we're going to do the Lobok River cruise and going to see the chocolate hills. So these are actually considered some of the best things you can do in the Philippines, right? Yes, very much. We are here at the Tarshir Sanctuary. This is one of the most unique animals, especially primates, that we're going to see, right? Yes. Nato, you're a Filipino. You've never seen Tarshirs, right? I've never seen a Tarshir before, so this is gonna be a very exciting experience for me yeah. to meet them in person. The Lobok River Cruise is a highlight in the Philippines for all people who are into ecotourism. It's a real jungle cruise taking you through a beautiful gorge.
traditional dance performance was a very beautiful surprise. Of course, it's a very touristy thing, but then I feel it's always nice to learn more about the local culture that seems to have some Spanish traces, well, at least in their music. Besides the calming atmosphere in this tropical paradise, the food of the buffet was really tasty. In fact, Filipino cuisine is really something you barely find anywhere around the world. Thus, make sure to enjoy the local flavors to the fullest as long as you're visiting. Although a very touristy attraction, the Lobok River Cruise is really one of the big highlights that shall not be missed upon your visit to Bohol. It's nice. The only thing at times I wished for was if the music would have been a bit lowered, it was actually quite loud. Although even having no music would even have been better, or even better at times just to have no music to enjoy the sounds of nature. We're now going to do the zip line. Marco, are you excited? Oh yeah, really excited. Actually, it's flying fox, so we're going to be late. <laughs> First time for both of us. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Marco? I'm ready. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Are you ready? Wow, I was like so scared and actually when you just spread your arms it really slows you down easily and then it's actually quite fine. So <laughs> I guess it's a lot safer than it looks like. Marco? Yes? Your experience? Oh, really fun yeah. and a great view. Actually I have to say the view it's really, really impressive. You see the river, see the boats, the waterfalls. Very enjoyable. But unfortunately, it's a bit too short. It's just like 30 to 45 seconds of having a fantastic vista. And then it's already over. Anyway, just got the return ticket. So we have a second chance. So this here is the Sugigi waterfall. It's a very secret place with no one. What you can see, this is actually a natural water slide. So great to come here for swimming. After the hidden gem of the Sugigi Falls, we arrived at this much larger hidden gem, the Pangas Falls. We expected it to be very touristy, but then we're basically all alone. Now I would say the best time to arrive here would be during mid to late afternoon. 
During that time, it's not going to be that hot anymore and also the sunlight will be a lot more pleasant. In here, we felt we really could immerse ourselves into the tropical paradise of Bohol. Just arrived up on the chocolate hills. Not that this is your first time, right? What's your impression? You should visit this place. Yeah. And I'm not gonna regret it. Well, actually, I'm supposed to come here 10 years ago and the travel agent, he really recommended me to visit this place. And when I heard the name chocolate hills, it was like, I don't think this place is that special. So. I decided to not take it into my itinerary and I instead went to Boracay. But now, 10 years later, I'm here and I have to say I'm very, very grateful for being immersed into this wonderful landscape. The chocolate hills were really stunning and we were super excited for our following days. Definitely these first impressions of Bohol marked a great start for our trip in the Philippines. 